Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another great episode of Bahrain Now, your source of local initiatives, happenings, and talents, and trends. I'm your host, Bara Abdullah, here to walk you through our exciting lineup of segments and personalities from around Bahrain. So don't go away, we'll be right back. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with a very informative segment with our dentist, surgeon, and implantologist, Dr. Mohammed Gahtan. Well, good evening, sir. How are you? Good evening. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Amazing, amazing. So you're not only a dentist, you're a surgeon and implantologist. There's a lot going on here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. About myself. I'm Dr. Mohammed Gahtan. Dentist specialized in oral and maxillofacial surgery and implantologist. Mm. Uh, with more than 18 years' experience. 18 years, wow. Yes. Living and working in Bahrain. I'm uh, happy with my field mm. to be in this field because it's a difficult field, but uh, mm. I'm so uh, interested and excited with it. I'm uh, very happy to present unique services and mm. to solve the complex cases and to deal with the complex cases mm. for many and a lot of patients. Amazing. Y you said it was a difficult field. Why is it difficult? Difficult field, be difficult field because it uh, takes a long time in learning. It's uh, you are not talking about one, two, three years. You are talking almost four to five years. Wow. This is after bachelor. And it takes total 10 years between dentistry and oral and maxillofacial surgery. Amazing. Yes. That, that. And with experience, experience after that. And uh, that's why it's a long way. It is a difficult long way. way. It is it's definitely a long way. And yeah. as we met you, doctor, several times at the DLS, the dentistry uh, yes. event, Amazing conference. It, it's yeah, just, it shows a lot of things going on over there. Yes. And you're always there to pretty much see the latest and all the talks. And you, even yourself, you take part in the talks, which really appreciate that. Amazing. Amazing. Yes. So now, as surgery goes, there is oral, and hopefully I'm saying this right, maxillofacial? Yes. What is that? The term is oral and maxillofacial surgery. It's three things. Okay. Oral and maxilla, maxilla means upper jaw and lower jaw, okay. and face. Okay. And the oral maxillofacial surgeon, his sur surgeon deals with all the problems, all the disease, mm. all the defects with the face, mm. with the face, uh, lower jaw, upper jaw, uh, mouth, everything regarding to the mouth from mm. outside, from inside, teeth, bones, bone grafting, dental implant, wow. uh, tumors, uh, wisdom teeth, impacted wisdom teeth, uh, cyst of the jaw, uh, cleft palate, all deformities, car accident, trauma of the face, wow. everything, all that. Wow, and you deal with all of that? Yes, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> indeed, we're lucky to have you around, yes. that's for sure. Thank you, appreciate it. That is for sure. So now, being a dentist is mm -hmm. different than being a surgeon. Of course. And different than being an implantologist. No. Dental implant, just a simple part of maxillofacial surgery. Okay. Just, okay. It's just a small part. Wow. Maxillofacial surgery is a big word. It, it yes. Apparently it is, like you just mm -hmm. mentioned. Yeah. Like a lot of things, I, I can barely yeah. remember half of it right now, mm -hmm. even let alone pronouncing them. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so now, as right now, food developed, right? Yes. Ingredients changed. Yes. There's a lot of chemicals. Before it was more organic, I would say fresher. Now food, as you know, became mm -hmm. more commercial, mass mm -hmm. production. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of ingredients, sugar, stuff mm -hmm. like that. That I think teeth today is being exposed to a lot of ingredients that it's not supposed to be exposed to. And a lot of people right now are having from cavities, so different kind of stuff. So how can we protect ourselves from all of that? Protect all people is to increase the knowledge how to take care of your teeth 
okay. how to take care with your with your with your health in general. Uh, also, this this uh, including how to take care with your food, food style. Okay. Um, the initial things is uh, focus on healthy food. Mm. Uh, go to your dentist mm. every six months for checkup and the cleaning. Right. Uh, follow every dental problem in the beginning. In the beginning, everything is simple and easy and can be fixed quickly. Also, right. the cost is less. Cost <laughs> is less. Because <laughs> in general, costly dent uh, uh, dentistry is costly. Go as soon as possible early. It will be very simple. Simple and low cost. If you delay the problem, the problem becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. And the procedure becomes more complex and more costly. And if you delay more, maybe you cannot fix again. Mm. Mm. So now a lot of people just go to the dentist mm -hmm. if there's a problem, which is sometimes a bit too late of a problem. Because most, most people is going regarding to pain. When right. they feel pain, they go to the dentist. Only when they get pain, yeah, right? Yeah, when they feel pain, go to the dentist. I feel something uncomfortable, I have to go to the dentist. Why? Dentist uh, is a person should be beside yourself along all your life. Okay. Should be your friend. Should be your friend. You have to contact him anytime for any question, at least right. for any question. Right. There is many simple things like how to brush your teeth, how to use mouthwash, how to use dental floss. This is very easy and to prevent you from many, many, many problems in the future. Mm. Mm. Now awareness. The main thing is awareness. Awareness, awareness right? Yes, awareness. Increase the awareness. People awareness. So, if what would be, I wouldn't say the perfect scenario, but is every three months an okay thing to do to go to the dentist, or is it a bit too much? Just better, for a checkup. Better, better, better. Because every it's three different, months. It's different. It's different regarding to lifestyle, because. There are some people take care very well. Okay, I see him every six months. Everything was is fine. Right. No need. But there is some other people. Okay, maybe uh, they are smokers, drink coffee a lot. Right. They need they need every three months cleaning and and checkup and many procedures. It's different from 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 mm. man to man. Now, being a dentist for more than eighteen years right now, mm. and and being here in Bahrain for such a long time. Mm -hmm. What have been the most cases that you faced so far in Bahrain? That's like, a, you see a pattern in Bahrain and mm -hmm. most of them have it. What is that? The most cases, I'm following all my patients. Okay. Always there is follow up for them. Right. And also follow all the cases, especially the, the, the complex cases and the surgical cases. Mm. Because the surgical cases need a special follow up. It's not a uh, simple procedure like, filling like uh, cleaning like a crown or root canal surgery because it uh, it needs healing mm. sometimes you need good follow-up because uh, we are working on uh, soft tissue and hard tissue right bones and muscles and their suturing um, you need to observe how the recovery progress mm. because if something wrong and just quickly, we can prevent patient from any 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 mistake can happen, from any mm. problem can happen. Because some some um, some patients send me messages, call me, uh, doctor, please, this medicine is heavy in my stomach. Can I stop it? Uh, uh, is it necessary to use this mouthwash for 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 ten days or for seven weeks? Mm. Some of them a uh, little bit delay. Mm. For no you have to do, you have to do, but especially after surgery, I always, I prefer to see my patient after two days from surgery. After two days? Two days, yes. Wow. There is one, two follow up before remove stitches. Mm. Why? To be sure, is the patient following instructions very well or not? Right. I can see this. And I cannot tell the patient, okay, come after one week, 10 days. No, no, I want to see him after two, mm. three days because I can see without asking him right. if he's taking medication, if he take care of this with, with his uh, mouth, or a hygiene or not. Mm. There has been talks about, let's say, herbal toothbrush, miswak. Okay. What, what would you say about that? Miswak. If you use it correctly, mm. it's a very nice thing mm. and useful. If you use it correctly, um, 
you have to bring fresh peas. Mm. Can be elastic, not dry. Uh, soak it in water. Okay. For a few minutes, to be sure. Then, 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 clean the tip. Clean the tip. To see the fiber. Okay. And you can use it gently. It's very good to remove, especially stains, stains which comes from coffee and tea. Right. Yeah. Toothbrush is is a, a, a similar thing. Toothbrush. Mm. Dam. Of course, it's uh, much more advanced. Okay. With toothpaste. Of course. But, but. Uh, this is we can make this as optional for patients use this True. or this but for miswak what i what i see is even the people who use it they cannot use it well especially in back teeth okay toothbrush much more active much mm. more active choose you good toothbrush good toothpaste good mouthwash good mm. floss because toothpaste yeah toothpaste and, and and uh, and the brush can give you only 80% from the total cleaning. Wow. Yes. Wow. And if you brush your teeth very well every day, two, three, four, five times, you cannot clean. You are you cannot clean your teeth 100%. This right. is this gives you only 80% because 80 you have to use dental floss and mouthwash. Wow. And there is arrangement also, who's first, who's second, who's third. Yes. Really. You have to use. Dental floss, the first. Okay, dental second, floss. Second, dental first. floss, first, first. First, dental floss. First, dental okay. floss. Second, toothbrush. Finally, go for mouth wash. Okay. Yes. Wow, sir. Thank you so much for answering these questions. I'm I mean, the they were very informative, to be honest yeah. with you. And not a lot of people can actually carry on the whole thing, even especially with Miswak, which mm -hmm. has been pretty much out there. They see it as a religious perspective, but there has been a trend, pretty much in certain areas. Mm -hmm. They you, they will call it as the herbal toothbrush. Um, a dentist, a surgeon, at the same time. And an okay. implantologist. That's a lot going on, sir. You have an amazing record going on here. Any last words or advice to your viewers? Last words or advice? Uh, first, dentist should be your friend. Okay. Feel free to ask him anytime about anything you need. Second, always go for a regular checkup on the cleaning. Everything is in the beginning is simple. Uh, third, if you want to do any surgery okay. or implant, you have to be sure that the doctor which is doing this procedure for you is a surgeon. Mm. This is very important. Very important. Very important because he can, he's the only one who can handle with the problem very well and he's the only one uh, consider all the things which can be happening. Is the only one can give you the best, especially for surgery and implant. He's your friend. The dentist is your friend. Yes. Definitely. Of course. I well, have many friends. I'm going to them also for regular checkup and the cleaning. True. True. Yes. Sir, thank you so much for being our friend. That's for sure. We really appreciate that. And thank you so much for joining us right here on Bahrain Now and for this uh, very informative segment. And I'm sure we're going to see you again, whether thank in an you. event or here on TV. Thank you very much for a nice invitation. Most thank definitely, you. sir. Thank Most you. definitely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was your friendly neighborhood, Dr. Muhammad Gahban, the dentist, surgeon, and implantologist, as we had a very informative talk right here on Bahrain Now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure and a privilege to have this segment as a collaboration between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which is flourishing especially in the educational field. The Applied Science University held the London Day event, which demonstrates between the ASU and the British universities to speak more about the event and what it adds to the Bahrain-British relations. We are joined here by the President of Applied Science University, Professor Ghassan Awad, and Deputy Vice Chancellor of London, Bank University, Professor Paul Ivey. Well, good evening, professors. Good evening. How good evening. are you today? Very, very happy. <laughs> very happy. Amazing. Happy to be here and many thanks for hosting us tonight. Yeah, hosting definitely. Different. Most pleasure and honor <laughs> and privileged to have you here. Definitely. Thank you. 
So Thank Professor, you. tell us more about the event. Uh, London Day, we have been running it. This is the second time we run uh, London Day, in fact. It's just Amazing. such an opportunity for us uh, to demonstrate really the, the, the strong collaboration between uh, London South Bank University and uh, Applied Science University. Mm. Uh, we've had a great event uh, today. We've had our students uh, on stage telling us about their experiences uh, in, in being graduates of the, the programs. We've been very, very fortunate that on Saturday, Mm. We hosted our graduation ceremony. Amazing. And we timed it, in fact, to coincide with London Day so we can have both events while our colleagues from the UK are visiting us. And this is the first cohort of, of uh, British uh, uh, programs hosted by uh, ASU. We have programs from London South Bank University and programs from Cardiff Met University. And it was such a big event, the graduation ceremony for us yes. on Saturday. It was. Uh, Hosted, uh, it was under the patronage of Her mm. Excellency Victoria Sheikh Arana bin Taisa bin Daesh Al Khalifa, mm. Secretary General of the Higher Education Council, uh, Deputy Chairperson of the mm. Board of Trustees of Higher Education Council. Uh, and uh, to see the, the, the happiness and joy of, uh, of our that. graduates. And today, during London Day, we hosted some of them on stage. Wow. They performed really, really well. And we wow. saw their maturity. We saw how we have transformed them in the last four years into being excellent ambassadors yeah. for uh, these programs, uh, the confidence they have shown today, uh, the, the leadership skills, the communication mm. skills mm. for us was amazing because really we don't want to just produce graduates with technical degrees. We wow. want to give them the extra skills to be equipped for the marketplace because those will become the leaders of tomorrow in right. companies and universities and so on. That is just beautiful <laughs> and amazing. I can just feel the vibes and the positivity of all the <laughs> moments, even though I was not there, <laughs> but I felt it. Professor, that was Thank amazing. So <laughs> well, sir, tell us more about your visit and the collaboration from your side. Well, first of all, it's very, very nice to be back in Bahrain. Yes, it's sir. Because of COVID, it's the first time we've been back in about two years. Mm. So it really is wonderful to be back. Mm. The cooperation started a long time ago, about six or seven years ago. Okay. And we've been working on various programs. And one of the things we first wanted to start out was create um, an engineering school. Mm. And, it, uh, and it's been a collaboration like no other, I don't think, because I think the quality of the partnership between the two institutions mm. is built on trust and a very, very good working relationship. Right. We don't agree on everything all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just being human. But, but, when we, but when we do have um, our disagreements, we work it out. And, and, right. and so that's like a true partnership. It's, 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 it's what you have to uh, do. But as Gassan said, I think the graduation on Saturday was quite remarkable. Amazing. Over 500 students graduating, not all wow. from London South Bank University, yeah. <laughs> uh, but an amazing event and a true credit to Bahrain, the quality of the graduates. Mm. But today we had London Day, as you know, and I think the emotions were running very, very high. Right. Because um, I think the staff were more emotional in one sense than the students. Mm. Because there is a, almost like a pastoral care right. that you have for these, for these young people. Yeah. Absolutely. And the colleagues at the Applied Science University have come, have seen those young people come in as fresh-faced 18-year-olds and working with them, particularly during COVID, wow. where the university had to take all its teaching from face to face to mm. online. A huge amount of work, but the care and the passion that the academics have for those young people has been borne out by the quality of the graduates we now mm. see. And there are some really, really talented individuals there that would be a credit to Bahrain. Right. There would be a credit to the global community frankly, mm. and that's what we're trying to produce, global citizens that through their lifetime can go anywhere in the world and work and deliver for other people as we hope we right. have delivered for them. That's amazing. That is just <coughs> amazing. <laughs> now, regarding the programs, tell us more about the joint programs between the two uh, sides. Yes, we, we started, as uh, Professor Paul mentioned, uh, two uh, engineering programs, okay. uh, one in uh, architecture engineering and one in civil engineering. Mm. And there are more uh, programs in, in, in the pipe uh, right. uh, lines. Uh, of course, and there will be programs, hopefully, in, in areas outside engineering as well. So mm. we're just uh, seeking approval now from the Higher Education Council for some uh, new programs. But the collaboration goes beyond just really program development. We mm. do a lot of uh, joint work in, in research, in right. staff development, yeah. in training. Uh, we run two joint conferences over the last few years. We are organizing one 
uh, in November in, on the leadership and management of projects in the digital age. Mm. And we encourage really our students, our graduates now from these two programs yes. to submit papers to, to the conference. We had a student conference about two weeks ago. We had uh, 12 uh, students from these two programs presenting at our student conference. It was a, a virtual conference, but I was really impressed with mm. the quality of their work, the, the, the presentation skills, the content, the wow. research method they had developed, the Amazing. techniques, which are things relevant to Bahrain, yani issues which could help the Kingdom of Bahrain. So we want them to do applied research. As you know, we are an applied science university and uh, we've, we've done a fantastic job in, in this area. Of course, we had a lot of support from uh, the chairman of the board of directors, mm. Mr. Samir Naz, the chairman of the board of trustees, Professor Weber Khaja. Mm. Uh, great support, I mean, from the very top uh, in order to make this collaboration really, really fruitful. And uh, as I said to you before, uh, it's, it's good to see now the fruits yes. of, of this collaboration, to yes. see the first cohort mm. of graduates getting wow. their, uh, their degrees. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. That is just phenomenal. And <laughs> as I hear gentlemen talk about it, it's not just, it just in the tone of your voices, it just feels that you definitely, genuinely we been through a lot. It is just so emotional. You're absolutely <laughs> right. This is the passion. <laughs> this is the passion. passion. It's the passion about the, uh, absolutely right. You we got believe it in right. it. We believe in education. <laughs> it's, it's the most important thing to do, not for any sort of grand story, but for a very human story. Right. Because we're transforming, we think, and I think there's evidence to support it, we're transforming young people's lives. And that's what teachers throughout the generations have always done. It's no different now to what it was. We had about 12 of the students who are graduating with LSBU degrees come to London last month mm. to join in at one of our uh, graduations at the Royal Festival Hall right on the bank mm. of the Thames. And so they students, those students came back and graduated again. So they had two. <laughs> <laughs> two graduates <laughs> <laughs> and we're Love it. And, and, Love and, it. We're, and we're organizing this, this year, we hope to organize this a year, a study tour of students who want to come Amazing. to London for a couple of weeks just to right. just to mix their educational story with some tourism, which is which is, okay, which is yeah, always good, and to mix with other students. We've got other students coming at the same time from different parts of the world, hmm. and they can mix with them again to try to create this global citizenship because that's what we believe in. Absolutely. The issues and the desires here in Bahrain are no different from those in the UK and vice versa. Mm. And we've got to join up together and mix and just understand each other and make a peaceful world. Right, right, sir. That is definitely right. Now, as you said, London Day has been like two years in a row right now and just making it happen. How did you come up with the idea itself? Although the collaboration was there, but how did it spark? Uh, I have to give credit to the chairman of the Board of Trustees, Professor Weibel <laughs> Khaja, <laughs> who was very keen okay. on having uh, London Day. So we organized the first one before COVID. Right. Uh, it was really successful. We, we showed a lot of things about London, the, the educational system, uh, the, the culture. And uh, as you know, I mean, the collaboration between the, the UK and the, the, the Kingdom of Bahrain mm. dates back to more than 200 years ago. Yes, sir. And we thought this collaboration should be really displayed almost a visual way through London Day. So Beautiful. We, in the past, we, we offered some typical maybe British food. <laughs> <and that. laughs> but uh, today, it was mainly about really the students' achievements. Yeah. And because, okay. you know, the students are at the heart of everything we do. Those are the best ambassadors. Those are the, mm. the, the people we want to help all the time. And, mm. and really, once again, seeing them tonight, uh, today during London Day, they were so proud yeah. to be part of London Day, of the name London Day, when you say London. And uh, it was an amazing uh, event, I must admit. I'm good. sure it was. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Now, sir, as the joint venture and the programs took place, how has the evaluation of the outcome so far, if you don't mind me telling? Yes. What we've been doing all the way through is monitoring and checking quality at every single stage. The formal process is that we have to get formal approval both here in Bahrain but also with a quality assurance process in the States, mm. in, in, the, in the UK. It would have been entirely possible to have done a whole lot more mm. but the quality would have dropped. Mm. And a comment was said today by one of um, Professor Gansan's colleagues is that the quality of the first cohort sets the standard for the entire program. Really? And that mm. was a very astute observation because I think with the quality we've seen today of the graduates, it reinforces that everything we've done at every stage along the process, the quality is very high. So the, 
the bar has been set very high. Yeah, pretty much. And so I'm very pleased with that because going fast but low quality is of no use to anybody. Absolutely. We mm. wanted to be careful, make sure the quality is right, and we're producing some really excellent young people. Amazing. And imagine to be able to get a top quality British degree while you are living in, in Bahrain next I to know. your parents, with your family. It's safe, it's nice. It is. And the quality is, is judged, as Professor Paul said, through the process itself. But we have the like external examiner approach where all our examinations are audited by an external examiner. Mm. They have a board to assess the quality, they benchmark against what's happening in, in the UK. And you are getting the uh, same quality degree, mm. same quality. You are a graduate of London South Bank University, not of uh, Applied Science University. Right. Getting your degree while you are in Bahrain, it's just a, a golden opportunity for so fam many families who don't want their kids to travel. Some they don't right. like, and then they love to see them around. And maybe they can go for higher degrees with a master's or PhD okay. in the future. But uh, at least this has created a lot of opportunities for some Bahraini students who are really keen on getting top education, yeah. UK education, mm. while they are here and at we, home. And we mm. believe very strongly that access to education should be irrespective of personal wealth right. and also gender. So everybody who has a passion for this subject should have a chance. Right. And that's what we're trying to do. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> it's uh, like I feel like going back to university. Yeah, we, we, we all do. None of us want to stop being students. I know. <laughs> because like the chance to learn is wonderful. It's amazing. There's just always a lot to learn. It's the, the pleasure and beauty of learning is something else. Absolutely. It stimulates Absolutely. the brain. It's it dopamine all over again. Yeah, yeah. I would love to have that again well, with London Day. Yeah, there you go. You are welcome to join the program. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right here on TV. Let's go. <laughs> so, professors, if you would like to add any last words, starting with you, Professor. Uh, I would like to thank you, first of all, and Bahrain TV for this interview, really. And uh, I wish our students every success, of course. And they are the best ambassadors. There's yeah. no question about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we keep telling them it's all about leadership, about passion, uh, about innovation, uh, about ethics, and being just considered helping people around you, etc. And uh, I'm confident that they will be getting top quality degrees, UK degrees, and even our local programs. I mean, we've achieved a lot mm. at Applied Science University for our local programs. Uh, but uh, I say to them, please be ambitious, uh, be calculating, uh, act like a leader. And act that's like why leader. we want we want leaders. Definitely. I think we are here at the moment, and we are custodians of this job and this function. Mm. Um, and when we stop doing this, we need to be ensure that we can pass it on to people who not only will carry it on, will do it much better than we have. And I think that's the gift to society that mm. educators need to do. And so I do hope, in fact, I'm absolutely certain that some of the people we've seen graduate today, right. in due course, not immediately, but in due mm. course, will be replacing us. <laughs> <laughs> so, so actually, we can, yeah, we can we can pass and it, it on. Be to our them. pleasure. Yeah, we can pass <laughs> it on to them, and they can be the educators and the instructors of the future. That's why I think we have so much passion about this thing. It's amazing. Well, gentlemen, professors. Our sincerest gratitude is revealed to your impactful value to the educational system here in Bahrain. I, we know we are in good hands right now, definitely. Thank you, it's Thank been you. a great pleasure having you with us right here on Bahrain now. Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. Most Thank definitely. You. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the educational system is just getting bigger and better with London Day and this beautiful joint venture, all that took place right here on Bahrain now. Join me, Walid Al Blushi, to enjoy highlights of Fix Carnival. Fix Carnival was located at Water Garden City. This carnival was perfect weekend entertainment plan. It's very important to have these local events to support Bahraini brands. Carnival, 
event is a pre-event for VIX Bahrain Championship that occurs every year in Bahrain. Event Camp Company organizes this event to introduce VIX Robotics to people while enjoying the carnival, which includes Bahraini businesses and brands and more. Hello, good evening. Rover Fragress. So tell me what you have and what do you think about the festival? Sure, thank you, thank you very much. So uh, first of all, we're a Bahrain brand called Rover Fragrance, as you can see, and uh, all what we have is basically perfumes that we choose uh, their scents and, and smells, but they are all manufactured in France. So that's why we trust the quality that, that will be provided to the customers themselves. Can I try something? Sure, sure. I have one of the perfumes, uh, which is called uh, Trap Zone, uh, which is one of our uh, Turkey's line. You can try it somewhere. It's fresh. M by Meme. It's interesting. Tell me about it. Okay, so M by Meme is a small business by me. Um, we have abayas, we have perfumes, our own perfumes, we do them. Huda Art. I'm seeing a lot of interesting artwork over here. Tell me, tell me about you. Tell me about your work. Tell me everything. Is, is this your first time joining an event, a carnival? Uh, this is my first time joining a carnival. I have never showed my paintings as for sale. But previously I have already posted them on social media and I sold some paintings on social media, but not just they weren't as for sale, but people had offered for me that they want to buy them, so I sold them. But now this carnival, it gave me the opportunity to sell my paintings or to like uh, announce to everyone that I have opened my own business of selling art. What do you think about the event? Um, I think the event is amazing. It supports us small businesses. And that's, I think that's a great opportunity for all of us. It's amazing. Thank you for all the organizers. They are making it such a beautiful experience. It's a very nice event. We are shooting TikTok here. We have food, we have uh, uh, coffee, e everything, painting, other art, <laughs> stage, games. <laughs> From fun games, to live entertainment. I hope you enjoyed the carnival as much I did. If you didn't have the chance to visit it this year, join next year. It's an annual event. I'm Wally Delivlushi. See you next time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the finish line. A huge thank you to all of our guests for joining us tonight. And another huge thank you to all of you watching us at home. As always, be sure to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below. We love hearing from you. This was Bara Abdullah. Till next time, Bahrain, goodbye and God bless.